this wind? What could it be? A, a tornado? A tornado? It's headed it right for us! the Resistance Heavy Cruiser. Our dear Sid, slain by his son. Hmm. A common tale of late. Firing solution complete. Sighting is good. Release valves open. The nether sighters are Main critical. Auxiliary show clear. Put an end to this. They have already surrendered. Let us make of this an offering. One he might see even now. Vena, what say you? The main battery stands ready. I beg you! Fire. Once they see that there can be no surrender, the Resistance must needs come at us with all they have. We will answer their attack head-on and destroy them, before the eyes of all Rabanaster. If you do this, the people will only grow to hate you the more. And should I pardon them, they will only rise up yet again. I do not believe they would. In cooperation lies our hope. You are mistaken. You are wrong, brother. And if I am? You had best find the strength you need to correct me then. Ship sighted ahead! A score or more! The resistance fleet, my lord! Hear this! Today we write the first page of a new history. Our history. Each of you must play his part. Put down this rebellion. For Arcadia, we fight! For Arcadia! May fortune favor us all. Give word to the cannons. 
Make ready and fire. We have a clean line. Prepare the second volley. Be quick. By the gods! Carrier Galapal, she's lost! saying you are too rash your duties come after the battle is over if we allow them to destroy us here there will be no after you must assist our charge stop you must pull back stop the stroll hold it i mean wait this is master solidor i'm going in with her so we're fine i got the princess covered Lassa solidor so you hold him as a hostage? No, Uncle. He will fight with us against Vane. Leave it to us. Understood. Our fate is in your hands. <sighs> yes. I got the princess covered. Well, I should say that. We're relying on you for fire support. Give them something to think about. We'll pick our moment and make our move. Vane will be in the fortress's command tower. I saw something of the like on our way in here. Right above our heads. We need not fight all the Empire to win. If we can get to Vane, we can put an end to this war. Let's get going then. Find Vane wherever he's perched and knock him off. Okay. We have reached the interior of the Sky Fortress Bahamut, and, well, the war is going on outside. We're not going to be taking part in any of that, though. We're going to be rushing through the inside of the fortress in an attempt to take out Vane and stop the war before it escalates any further than this. Now, we've been wondering for quite a while what, what possibly could have been 
Bane and Sid's plan because, I mean, it seemed like they were pushing us to gain the weapons that could potentially destroy the Empire, so why the hell would they want to give us a chance to actually defeat them? Well, in the earlier episodes, we finally found out it was actually a plan just to sort of re get us to go and reunite the Nethysite shards in order for them to be reintegrated with the Suncrist, and that would allow all of the energies of the Suncrist, all that mist power, to flow out of it. Resistance fights their battle well. We dare not fail them. We dare not falter. Stop worrying. We just have to clean up here, and then Ash will be the queen. It's kind of hard to believe. I can't even imagine trying to rule a whole kingdom. A queen might always run away with the help of a sky pirate looking to raise his bounty a peg. Hmm. I doubt our queen would need the help of any sky pirates. Do you really think me as strong as all that? Who said anything about strong? You'll make it. You got good friends. And that power flowing out of the Sun Crist was exactly what Vane had wanted. Because if you think about it, the Nethysite was pretty much a useless item. You can't use it. The Dynast King potentially knew how to use it, but I don't even see reasonable proof of that fact. Just because he used he had to the Nephysite and used it to unite the kingdom, but no telling on how he did it, or what he did to make that happen. All we know is that the, the kingdoms were uni unified under the Dynast King, and the power of the Nephysite was somehow involved. But any attempt that we've seen to use Nephysite has been disastrous. Look what happened to Nabudis, look what happened to the Dreadnought Leviathan. Its raw power was just too great. But what they wanted was this, um, the Empire wanted the power of Nephysite but couldn't use it. And what they wanted it for was the powering of this ship, this, this uh, super powerful um, battleship, sky battleship, the Bahamu. Now they couldn't use the normal Nephysite to make that happen, that just wasn't going to work. So what they decided to do was go and have the power of the Sun Crist flow out so that way they could absorb it and turn it into this. Now the the um, the war that was going to be brewing between Arcadia and and Nebradia couldn't be averted. Nebradia, as soon as it smelled blood in the water, was instantly going to jump into action. And the potential war between the resistance forces led by uh, Marquis Andor of Berjuba was going to go and give them the opportunity that they were looking for. So they instigated, by having some of their rebels being actually soldiers of Nebradia, instigated this battle that's going on right here. And Nebradia is going to run in later and try to just wipe the floor with everything that's left. But what they were not counting on right now was the Bahamu being operational and being ready to kick their asses as soon as they arrive. Now right now Andor is doing a pretty good job fighting off the 
Bahamu, but, you know, he's not going to win that battle. So, we're going to have to definitely do what we're going to be doing here in order to, to uh, avert this catastrophic war. Of course, that raises another question which will never be answered. What will happen once... Once... Um, Rosaria comes in and engages in the fight afterwards, but, you know... So you have lived. I am Judge Magister. Even in disgrace, my just reward for aiding the Empire that destroyed my homeland. Gabranth, do not blame yourself anymore. You confound me, brother. You failed Landis. You failed Damasca. All you were to protect. Yet you still hold on to your honor. How? I had someone more important to defend. And defender I have. How is it that you have survived? Is it not because you defend Lord Larsa? Silence! All was stripped from me. Only hatred for the brother who fled our homeland remains mine. Tell me, why do you forsake that which you must hold most precious? I do as I must, brother. Or is that not answer enough? Boss battle time! I'm gonna go bring Balthier into the... Not Balthier, uh... Bosch into this, because it's his brother that we're fighting here. Now, obviously, Gabranth is not, uh... For quite a while, hasn't been feeling this whole thing that they're doing here. All the actions of the Empire, the death of the former Emperor, and all of that jazz. He hasn't really been too keen on that. Futile Bosch. Long have I walked in hatred's company. As long as I can curse your name, I shall not be defeated. Then come. Wield your hatred and crush me. I welcome it. But he probably at this point feels that he doesn't really have anything else left. He can't run. He can't just turn his back on everything that he's been doing so far. He's gone too far for that. And he's his still his job is still to protect Larsa. So he may feel that he's still doing that right now. So that could partially uh explain this irrational move that he's doing here, attacking three people all by himself. I mean, not bringing any backup at all. I mean, he's about to bulk up, or he just did. He did enrage. But he's still no match for the three of us. I'm really just letting my gambits go here. I'm not even controlling the fight. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to. I mean, uh turn Vaughn's gambits on and he'll bring Bosch back. Oh, he actually has gotten a little bit more powerful. Yeah, that was way. Ah, I guess maybe I should be taking this fight a little bit more seriously, but I mean, he's almost down. Come on, Vaughn, stop screwing around. I want to be a little bit careful not to burn through all of my... all of my MP, because I want to use it for the later fights. I mean, there are no save crystals, and it will not be regenerated at the end of this fight. And as you can probably assume, this is not going to be the last boss battle of the game. The Branth has been a constant... Or a consistent thorn in our side, but he is no, uh, he's not end boss material. Okay, cure everybody and just take his ass out. 
that last little bit of damage we need to take him out is really proving to be difficult to obtain. Your life ends at my blade. I guess I, if I really wanted to, I could ensure his defeat by throwing some quickenings, but I don't want to burn through my MP, so we're just going to tough it out. He's almost down, come on. Just a few more hits. One more. There we go. You the same. Let this end, Noah. <sighs> I've no right to be called by that name. Then live and reclaim it. Okay, we've won our fight against Gabranth, and all that's really left is to head back, head up, activate the elevator, and go take on Vayne. Gabranth is beaten, but not dead, and he's not going to be putting up any resistance anymore. So let's move on. <laughs>